Hello all, welcome to my channel Cody 5 with Sonal and I'm really sorry guys I was not available for the last uh, few days and uh, today I've come up with a very interesting video that is about J unit interview preparation. You should be ready with these interview questions if you are giving a tech stack based on J units. So let's start for today. So first question, what is J unit and what is its purpose? This is a very basic fresher level question. So J unit is what it is a Java testing framework that is used for unit testing. Okay, now what is unit testing? If you want me to go that in deep, please do let me know. So its purpose is to provide standardized way to write and execute test cases. You know, there's also one thing called as TDD. That is test driven development approach. So what they do is they write the test cases first and then they develop the actual code. So that's how and TDD is too much into action right now. If you need a detailed video about uh, test driven development, what is it and how you do that, we'll do a different video on that. So uh, you can way, write a standardized way to write and execute test cases, ensuring that each individual unit of code functions correctly in isolation. Like suppose there are 10 test cases, every test case should individually pass. Okay. And it should not affect to another. So what are the key features? You should use annotation based. You should assert your test cases. You should support for organizing and running test suits. Test fixtures for preconditions and you know clean up after test. Like if you're developing a new variable, make sure during the test after the done, it should be cleaned up. All these, these are kind of quality checks that you require. Uh, you can like anybody can test your code and then they can say how reliable and how efficient your test is okay parameterize test to run the same test with different inputs okay and test runners to customize the test execution behavior so how do you annotate a method as a j unit test case so what you do is you write at the rate test before the method and j unit will recognize it okay example you can see it next what is the life cycle of a j unit test case so this is a very important question being asked to freshers as well as experienced uh, who are giving j unit interviews so uh, first thing is you should set up then execute then assert and tear down okay setup is in what what are the preconditions required you have to build some objects or anything okay execution is the main test Assertion, assertion is the result that you are verifying that whether you have assert equals, right? That method that you use. So you are asserting with the expected results. And teardown is like you are cleaning up, as we discussed in our question before, that you have to clean up the resources. Next question How do you write parameterized test in GA units? So for parameterized test, you should use the annotations like parameterized test and at the rate value source annotations, okay? At the rate value source annotation specifies the values to be used as a test input and J unit automatically it will run the test multiple times with each value. Okay. So here is an example. You should annotate it with parameterized test before and value source like int 1, 2, 3. So it will multiply go and execute this. What is the purpose of at the rate run with annotation in J unit? So the at the rate run with annotation is used to specify a custom test runner for executing test. So it will allow you to what extend or replace the default J unit test runner. Next question, what is the purpose of at the rate before each and at the rate after each annotations in J unit 5? So before each and after each are used in J unit 5 that everyone knows to define methods that run before and after individual test method. Like basically you do some setting and tearing down how you do that. You have to run before each test, you have to run some things and after each test, you have to run some things. So that's the annotation use of these. How do you mock dependencies? So you can use Mockito, Easy Mock, Power Mockito, all these things you can use to mock your J unit test cases. Okay. These frameworks allows you to, you know, create mock objects and then you stimulate using real, you can see the real dependencies uh, behavior, actual behavior, how will the function work? Okay. And you can also do this in isolate the unit, uh, unit testing should always consider isolation behavior. Okay. How do you test 
private methods in j unit okay now earlier uh, public method is very easy right but uh, as they are the primary interface to the class under test now how do you need how do you test the private method you have to refactor the code use reflection and test through public methods next question what are the best practices for writing effective j unit test cases so as it is unit testing writing small focus test methods like every functionality should be covered for example uh, you are doing a test case on maths okay now in that maths class has various functions addition subtraction division multiplication so you have to write test case for each every every specific function addition should have its separate test case subtraction should have its separate test case similarly okay so using meaningful test case give perfect names as i have always told in all my java uh, tutorials also in aws also whatever you are writing as a function make sure the name is meaningful for others to understand and it should describe the behavior of your test of your uh, whatever your function is doing okay whether it's a test function or anything then setting up necessary as the, as we just read before and before each notations after each notation notation annotations all that you should take it into consideration and always assert to validate your expected results okay it's the same question that we are continuing okay keeping test test independent and avoiding dependencies between test methods okay it should be independent of each other then adding descriptive comments running test frequently refactoring the test code all these are the best practices that you can use okay and even we have some more listed using parameterized test okay uh, just now we saw how you can use parameterized test writing test for both positive and negative scenarios this is a very important point guys uh, whenever you are in a j unit interview tell them that we are going to test for happy and sad scenarios basically happy scenario is called as a positive and sad is negative considering performance and edge cases very important point always consider corner cases what happens uh, many of the times is when even you are doing some logic testing or something you are tend to miss edge cases think about overall all the test cases should be covered okay for example uh, you are doing some kind of function on maths and you forget to take negative numbers into consideration so that is one edge case you forget to take zero into consideration so all this edge cases you need to remember then regularly reviewing and updating test cases as the code base evolves however your code is changing regularly also do change your test cases according to your code it should make justice to your code so last two best practices are following arrange act assert pattern for test method structure okay it's the same thing what we discussed about the life cycle it's the same thing writing self contained tests so that they don't rely on external resources or dependencies okay that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this and uh, do let me know what you would like to see further on this channel before that do not forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get a notification of the updated video thank you